Okay, so here we have my uh, my nails, and as you can see, the nails are um, kind of you got a little bit of dis discoloration uh, just beyond the white parts there, and uh, and as you can see, there are all of these little black um, lines. I'm not sure exactly what that is. The only thing I can think of is that those are just little bits of um, a blood trail underneath the nail. So with psoriatic, uh, uh, sorry, with psoriasis affecting the nails, it uh, it basically causes uh, the nail beds to grow and discolor and deform the nails because it's not growing on a smooth surface as it normally would. And as you can see from my extended uh, white parts, I don't know what the scientific term for that is, uh, is that the nail actually detaches from the nail bed at a certain point. So we're going to clean these up a little bit, cut down, uh, and we'll show you what's underneath. Okay, so take a look at that. That is, uh, I believe, is the nail bed. Not just dirt under my nails as some of you would think. And, uh, and this part, normally I'll just go ahead and clip off uh, along with it. It's not really hard. It's pretty soft, as you can imagine. As you can see from my thumb, that's why my nails go back so far. Generally, people think I cut my nails so short um, just because I can, but it's actually just because I like to clean up this um, this white extended part so that stuff doesn't get caught under it too much. Okay, moving along. Now, each of my nails does have the same weirdo nail bed underneath it. When I scratch, my flakes get caught under that part. Now, they say that uh, psoriasis in the nails causes the nails to be pretty brittle. And I think the reason for that is, is because it does start separating from the nail bed so that uh, it doesn't have that much reinforcement. It's like uh, something becoming delaminated, like a, a card of some sort. Or hell, even a, a laminated board coming apart. Probably not as strong as... Uh, if it were still together. This one's gone back particularly far, so I probably won't go all the way down. Clean it up as much as I can.
Normally when I clip, I just clip the, uh, the nail bed and the nail together. So let's just take a closer look at this. If you look underneath, see if I can get that in focus. Look underneath, you can kind of see a little bit of raised uh, nail bed there. There's that little layer right there. You won't see that normally on regular nails. Or at least in my experience. Once again, we see that uh, that nail bed right there. Then we can just slide the clippers underneath that, maybe, and clip it off. Another characteristic that I've noticed uh, with the nails is that if you look, there are little indentations on the nail as well. They call them pits. Uh, looks like little pinpricks or just little little trenches that are dug into the nail. That's also a characteristic of uh, psoriasis in the nails as well. A little interesting fact. Sometimes this nail can get all bumpy. Uh, sometimes it produces weird ridges. Um, kind of funky looking. That one looks kind of normal. Alright, let's just do this one from this angle. You'll see the, uh, the nail bed come up along with the nail itself, maybe. Right here. Yep. You can kind of see it. Okay, well, that's uh, me cleaning up my nails a little bit there. As you can see, can't go all the way down. Eventually, the rest of this stuff over here will just fall off, and it'll start looking like normal here in a day or two. And then in about a week, two weeks, it'll all grow back and start the process over again. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that notification button if you care to see my videos again. And we'll see you next time.